Hi Capricorn, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and welcome to your August 2016 reading. I'm glad to be back. I spent some time in the ICU with a throat condition called uh, epiglottitis, epiglottitis and um, my throat had swelled shut so if I'm having issues speaking that's why I'm still in recovery. Um, before I start this reading I just want to let you know that if these messages begin to resonate with you it means that spirit and the angels and Spirit guides, dear Lord in heaven, whoever is trying to connect with you, and that maybe it would be wise for you to connect with me via my G email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com for a personal reading. Right now I'm offering a $10 one question reading, a $20 text reading, or a $30 video reading, which is pretty popular. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And the first card I see for Capricorn is the king of swords now this could be a male or female around you could be a aquarius libra or gemini sun moon or rising or it could just be you putting your foot down and saying you know what that's it i've had enough of something going on around me i want justice i'm tired of the way things have been i've got something on my mind i want to structure and organize i want to change things up I'm feeling at my foundation like there's some sort of heartbreak and I'm not content due to something that happened in the recent past. I'm not quite sure what that pertains to because everybody's path is different. But I do show that in the near future, you're moving forward quickly, putting a close to something, an end to something, or somebody else may be quickly putting an end to something. But it's something that you see coming. Um, it might have to do with someone around you that has that's from your past maybe somebody came back around and they shouldn't have and it kind of messed up a certain circumstance or it could mess up a certain certain circumstance or this could have to do with a child that is making poor choices and you're trying to say you know what it's not going to happen this way I'm putting my foot down things are going to change starting now you're hoping to be the hierophant or that in other words God will bless the situation and things will turn out for the better and you'll be blessed with a brand new path and a brand new direction something that will turn out to be wonderful and fresh for you when I look a little further down the line I see that you may be looking for help or assistance from a fire sign which could be an Aries Sagittarius or Leo Sun Moon or rising someone who can help you get this new path started by the middle of the month I see that maybe you'll be celebrating something instead of being so concerned about something it all comes down to how you're handling something. The temperance card side, right side up says you can temper and handle everything pretty good, going back and forth with the water and the fire. But upside down, it's saying you might want to watch how you're handling a situation because with a little bit of time, everything's going to blow over and turn out okay. All right, so for now, you need to just watch how you react. I'm going to pull a uh, three-part reading from the Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine Oracle Card Deck with regards to Capricorn for the month of August 2016. I would like the beginning, middle, and end of the month guidance, please, and thank you. Okay, so we start out the beginning of the month with the King of Water saying, open your heart and mind to those around you. There will be trustworthy and heartfelt advice and maybe some charity work. Okay, so it's good to get everybody involved when a circumstance takes place. Connect with someone you love. Try and work things out together. Come close together with others. Open your heart. Don't close your heart. And try and do something maybe char uh, charity focused. Something that's going to bring everybody together. See here underneath that one is the four of chords saying contentment, peace and abundance and a happy new home life. I think everybody needs to be brought back together in a home life. Um, the lover's card is saying in the middle of the month, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. This might have to do with someone from your past that is coming in and out or in dealing with a younger child that needs to be have dealt with with some patience. You've come into your own, continue to move forward in your partnerships. At the end of the month, you have the night of air. Events occur with great speed. Time to carefully review your options, creative solutions, okay? So things are going to happen at a great pace, but they could happen in a good way should everybody come together and work on it. I guess it's up to you to decide. Sometimes when I see a sword, I see 
slicing through the branches that are guiding your path, um, your life path. But right underneath that says enjoying life's little luxuries. Maybe it's just time to cut away some of the baloney that's getting in the way, that's clouding issues, and come back together with everybody and enjoy the little things by celebrating the things that we've forgotten about, you know? Celebrating birthday parties, having picnics. I mean, it is August. We are getting to the end of a very difficult nine-year cycle. And we're going to be moving forward into a brand new one-year cycle next year. So we want to make sure that we come into the next year of 2017 in a very happy, uh, glorious, close way with each other all right so bond together with one another i think that's the message for capricorns for the month of august is make sure that you bond together with each other i'm pulling a card from the uh romance angel card deck oracle deck by doring virtue for capricorns for the month of august 2016 separation so maybe there is something that's going on maybe there has been separation or there needs to be some time apart from your partner so everybody can just take another look at the situation before we take any steps forward into any direction. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So create new memories. If you're questioning a new person that's coming into your situation, remember this card. And this card always rings true when I come up in my readings. Give your relationship a chance. Work on that partnership. What you have back there is not worth the battle, okay? What you have created with this person right here is worth everything. It's just hard sometimes to remember that. That's why we need to come together. We need to reconnect. We need to remember why times with each other are so important, why family is so important, why helping others is so important, why the little things in life are so important for everyone to remember. I'm going to pull a card, the final card for this reading, from the Messages from Your Angels Oracle Card Deck, also by Doring Virtue. Please bless us with clearly defined advice for Capricorn for the month of August 2016. And you got Archangel Raphael who says, I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. See, you're a healer like me, he says. You can make things better or you can make things worse. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. So if there are children that need you, whether they're yours or not, reach out and help them. Put together a charity event to bring t children together to fight against drugs, to fight against alcohol, to fight against family or domestic abuse. Try and help the churches bring people back together again. Keep charging ahead and do not take no for an answer. Okay, Capricorn, this card says... Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So pray to Angel Mystique when you feel like things are at their hardest and say, please help me, Angel Mystique, to help me to charge ahead and not take no for an answer, to expect miraculous solutions to appear. And they will. All right? I feel like there are many good things that can come from this reading. I just need for you to slow down, take a deep breath, and really take a closer look at what it is you'd be walking away from that's very important in your life. Something that could become better than you ever imagined it could be. Write me at josiek42 at gmail.com if you need any guidance along your life path. I'll be there waiting for you. And if not, I will talk to you either later in August or for sure before September 2016. Have a great month.